Hello, and thank you for joining us again for the next segment, this segment of Daily Bible Bites here at Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. Today, we are in chapters 18 and 19 of the book of Leviticus, and we'll jump right in. I am your God, so don't act like a heathen. You must obey only my laws. If you obey them, you shall live. None of you shall marry a near relative. You shall not give any of your children to Molech, burning them upon his altar. Homosexuality is forbidden, for it is an enormous sin. A man shall have no intercourse with any female animal, and a woman must never give herself to a male animal. This is a terrible perversion. These are the things the heathen do, and because they do them, I am going to cast them out from the land into which you are going. Do not do these things, or I will throw you out of the land. 19. You must be holy because I am holy. You must respect your mothers and fathers and obey my Sabbath law. Don't make or worship idols. When you harvest your crops, don't reap the corners of your fields. It is the same with your grape crop. Leave them for those poor and for those traveling through. You must not steal nor lie nor defraud. You must not swear to a falsehood. You shall not rob or oppress anyone, and you shall pay your hired workers promptly. You must not curse the deaf, nor trip up the blind man. Judges must also be just, no noticing whether a person is poor or rich. Don't gossip. Don't falsely accuse your neighbor. Don't hate your brother. Rebuke anyone who sins, or you will be equally guilty. Don't seek vengeance. Don't bear a grudge, but love your neighbors as yourself. Obey my laws. If a man seduces a slave girl who is engaged to be married, they shall be tried. The man involved shall bring his guilt offering. When you enter the land and have planted all kinds of fruit trees, do not eat the first three crops. And the, first, the fourth year, the entire crop shall be given to the Lord in praise to him. Finally, in the fifth year, the crop is yours. You must not eat meat with undrained blood, nor use fortune telling or witchcraft. You shall not cut yourselves nor put tattoo marks upon yourselves in connection with funeral rites. Do not violate your daughter's sanctity by making her a prostitute. Keep my Sabbath laws and reverence my tabernacle. Do not defile yourselves by consulting mediums and wizards. You shall give due honor and respect to the elderly. Do not take advantage of foreigners. Love them as yourself. For remember that you too were foreigners in Egypt. Use accurate measurements. You must heed all of my commandments and ordinances, carefully obeying them, for I am God. So let's jump into the beginning of chapter 18 when he says, I am God, so do not act like the heathen. All of these acts that he speaks about here in these chapters are considered heathenous acts, acts of people that are not saved. And there is not one act that I have mentioned here that we, as supposedly God's people, have not broken. So what we want to do is make sure that we stay humble and don't act like we are holier than thou. We have no right at all to point fingers at someone else because we have fallen short in at least one of these areas, whether it's lying or stealing or being sexually um, impure or um, there's some of them that are maybe a little bit um, far-fetched in accordance to our um, civility or our society, but crops, you know, we don't have farmers who don't use the crops for themselves as well as sell them for their own, for maintaining their own households. Um, we have people, even when it says, do not viol violate your daughter's sanctity by making her a prostitute. That doesn't mean just putting someone on a corner. That means using them for your own, own self um, ele elevation or even living in living vicariously through them. Hollywood would probably be non-existent if there weren't for momagers and parents who put themselves, put their children out there to be used and misused and abused for the sake of a dollar. Um, there are people who do that even on a smaller scale. So um, again, hating your brother and sister. We have a two-party system here in this country and a lot of it is built 
on racism and on pointing fingers at other people and looking down on other people. We have people who have been snatched up by ICE because they feel like they should not be in our country. When the Lord tells us right here, don't treat foreigners with any ill will because we were once foreigners. So again, I just say that all to say that there is not one area of these chapters that you watching or that myself have not fallen short on. So don't point the finger at anyone else. We have people who are rebuked constantly and constantly um, looked down upon as less than human even because they may be homosexual instead of heterosexual. Again, everyone has fallen short of something in here. And when Christ went to the cross, he took upon the sins of the world the sins of the world on his shoulders because he knew that we would all fall short of his glory and of his righteousness. So let's stop looking at other people and their shortcomings. Look at our own and try to better ourselves a little bit more because God also tells us in his word to work out our own salvation. Don't look upon anyone like you're better than them and like your sin is any less than their sin because at the end of the day, we all fall short and Christ went to the cross. Don't even look at someone and say you're a sinner or what you're doing is sin. Look at yourself and figure out your own sins and just treat everyone with love because that's what God requires of us. Love your neighbors and love God. Try to work on that and we would spend a lot less time looking at the faults in other people or presumed faults in other people. Because I tell you, when you look at the faults of other people and you um, stay away from anyone, any group of people, any culture, any gender, anyone that is in any society or any group of people, you really do miss out. Because I have to tell you, there's some great people in this world of all different colors, all different cultures, all different nationalities, and all different genders. We need to love everyone in Jesus' name and not miss out on the beauty of the people that God has given us. Thank you so much for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites. We do hope to see you on the other side where everyone is welcome. Everyone who has fallen short. The only thing we don't allow over in our church is perfect people. <laughs> because if you think you're perfect, you got no room for growth. But if you want to come and love on each other and grow and grow in Christ each and every day and just try to do better tomorrow than what we did today, then you are absolutely welcome. We will welcome you and accept you with open arms, understanding that we have all fallen short and there's room for a lot of improvement in every one of us. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you on the other side at www.dltmoreministries.com, where we've got weekly church services and Bible studies, as well as prayer meetings that will be starting this week, and small groups of many different topics. God bless you, and we love you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.